Hi, we will be discussing a neck paper and a volume calculation today. So this is a July series 2021 paper and a building civil engineering and architecture diploma 3 students. Uh, let's go ahead and we we'll look at the question paper. So that will be question 6a. The reduced ground level and the formational level of an embankment at 0 meter, 30 meter and 60 meter changes are shown in the table below. Then in the table we have the changes, the reduced ground level and the formational levels all in meters. Uh, you can go ahead and observe that table uh, given our values there. So the changes have an interval of 30 meters. Yeah. Uh, let's continue. Given that the formational width of the top of the embankment is 6 meters. Traverse slope in horizontal. And the embankment side slope at 1 into 2. Calculate our first. So we calculate the width of the embankment. Our second question, we calculate the volume using trapezoidal and prismoidal rule. In this method, cross sections are taken at right angles at some convenient line which runs longitudinal through the earth works. In the long constructions, uh, which we have constant formational width and side slopes, it is possible to simplify the computations of cross-sectional areas by the use of the formulas. Uh, let's look at our first question where we are needed to calculate the width of the embankment. Uh, first, we illustrate the, our embankment in the diagram so in a diagrammatic format uh, you can see the diagram there uh, in our diagram so an embankment that is like a road formation or some hip uh, yeah some soil yeah there where our b is equal to the formational width you can see it in the diagram h is the height and m is the side slope and again the w is the width of embankment uh, which in our question here we are asked to calculate uh, going back to the table we have a reduced ground uh, level and we also have a formational level in which the difference of those two will give me the height so you can look at the diagram there I have illustrated it well. Um, in general, the formula for finding the width will be equal to uh, a half B plus MH. So that is the formula for finding the width of the embankment, the W there in the diagram. Then our height will first be calculated from the difference in the changes interval. From our earlier formula, we can calculate the side width of the embankments. So you can look at the screen there. I have already done the heights uh, by subtracting the reduced level uh, from the formational level. So formational level is found on top. Uh, the reduced ground level is found in the ground level. Uh, after having that, that I apply my formula. Uh, so the W will be a half B plus MH, giving me a uh, three width of the embankment. Uh, in our second question, we are told to use the trapezoidal or uh, and again the prismoidal rule. First, we start by calculating using the trapezoidal rule. 
under the trapezoidal rule volume is found by this method d over 2 into brackets our first area plus our last area we close our brackets um, by adding 2 and the remainder of our areas we do a sum of them as illustrated uh, there here we again need to calculate the difference uh, the different areas from the embankment the formula for giving us the area uh, is as follows so area will be equal to h into brackets b plus m h we close our brackets so we do the areas for the first the second and the third areas as illustrated in the uh, question there uh, we find the different areas in meters squared after which we apply the formula for finding the volume using the trapezoidal rule having only three areas the working becomes easy uh, because here we'll just uh, have our formula going by so the volume will be equals to 30 over 2 uh, into brackets our first area plus our last area plus 2 times the remain the remaining area so that will be area 2 and we get our answer as uh, 17 40.9 meters cubed uh, so remember volume is in cubic meters well, we go again so under volume by prismoidal rule which is mm, a more precise formula uh, we can see a prismoid is a solid so a, a prismoid is a solid made up of two end faces which must be parallel plane figures uh, as the end areas of the successful prismoidal i uh, will have the formula uh, going by so our formula for finding the prismoidal our volume by prismoidal will be 2d over 6 into brackets our first area plus 4 multiplied by our second area plus our third area we close our bracket uh, here our d will be the interval in the changes and our interval there was 30 as observed earlier uh, so uh, having applied those uh, we have finished our question uh, if you have uh, a question uh, you can get to me through my email or uh, in the comments below at uh, the same i'll provide a link uh, in the pdf in which you can uh, follow thank you